Hey, what's up you guys? It's me. I know, I'm pretty close, aren't I? I'm sitting in my bedroom here in Christchurch, okay, and there's something I want to do today. I've woken up this morning and there's one thing I need to do today. There's one thing on my mind and one thing only. And, and, and when I wake up with something on my mind, I simply need to get it done or else I'll do it tomorrow or, or else I'll do it next week. So I'm going to save myself the trouble and I'm going to do it today. I'm going to travel 45 minutes over the other side of the city to a place that you may have seen before. You may have seen before. Today's mission, guys, is to do my third beat test as a rugby player on my channel. It's beat test number three. The first time I did it was in Christchurch, round the corner, at the field. Completely unprepared. It was the middle of winter. It was one degree Celsius outside. I was absolutely just out of my depth, to be fair. I thought, you know what, I'm going to rest on my laurels. I reckon I've got the fitness, I've got the base fitness. I found out I found out pretty shortly after that that I actually didn't have that base level of fitness or not the base level that I thought I did. So from there, literally from that point, I began running. I began running every single morning. What that ended up doing was changing my whole mindset around cardio and around getting up early in the morning and wanting to get out on the street when it's still dark, you get the jump on the morning, you know, whether it's a run or a walk, or you go to the gym, it doesn't matter. If you get up nice and early, the early bird does get the worm, and my mental health started increasing. So that all started because I did the first version of this very video, Rugby Player vs. The Beat Test 1. I did it for a second time down in Queenstown not long ago, and I'm going to say that I was pretty unprepared for that too. And I'm going to say that today I'm pretty unprepared as well, but I'm going to rest on my laurels once again. Because if it doesn't happen today, it may never happen. I have to do this beep test for a third time. I have to prove to myself that I can get over 10. Okay, I want to get 11. I need to get 11. If I don't get 11, this video won't make it to YouTube. But actually, that's a complete lie, because it will. As you guys know, I'm completely open and honest. If I have to do a fourth or a fifth or a sixth to get to that level 11 on the beep test aka the pacer test i will do it but today is the day i feel like i'm feeling confident i'm going to eat a couple of bananas i'm going to drink probably about a liter of water i'm going to drive over to the local athletics track um it's called napuna Wai athletics track it's absolutely epic you guys may have seen it before you may not have i went there a few times back in winter to get some training in um and and Six months later, I'm back in Christchurch and I'm going to go and check it out again. I'm going to take my sprinting shoes, I'm going to do a few drills, I'm going to take my ladder, take cones, things like that. But, but today, in this video, we're focusing on the beep test. So I can measure out easily, effectively, efficiently and accurately a 20 metre distance. In the last video, I did it on a basketball court. There were lines absolutely everywhere. I had no idea what was 20 metres. I guessed, I guessed. And I guess I just hoped that it was around 20 meters. So I couldn't be sure about the last one. Anyway, this is it. This is it. Beep test number three. Rugby player versus the beep test three. I'm going for 11. Wish me luck. And let's fucking do this shit. I'll see you at the track. Okay? There's no time to lose. Two bananas, a liter of water. I'll see you there. All right. Sup? So I've been here about five minutes. I've done a couple of laps. We've got this guy doing 600 meter um, dashes, which is absolutely sick. I'd completely forgotten how much I love being down here, seriously. I don't need to be a competitive runner. I just absolutely love being in this environment. This reminds me of school athletics and I'll never ever get sick of it. Anyways, today's plan is to do this beep test. I've got 20 meters marked out. And we're about to give it a shot. Let's do it. What I am going to do is let my heart rate come back down because I don't want to make the same mistake. I don't want to make the same mistake I did last time, and that was play too much basketball before this test. I tired myself out. I told myself I didn't, but I actually did. I want to get 11. So I'm going to do a lap walking. I'm going to come back, turn the camera on, and get straight into it. Wish me luck. Tell you what. 
tell you what, it doesn't matter how old you get, it doesn't matter how many times you've done something, or at least for me, I can never get rid of that performance anxiety. It started in the classroom when the teacher was going around the room, one by one, and you had to say something in front of the class, and, and I'd see myself get closer and closer and closer, and my heart would start beating faster and faster and faster. And I thought it was just me. And I honestly thought I'd outgrow it, but I haven't. And literally, walking around here, about to do this test, knowing that it's gonna be on camera, my heart beats fast, my heart starts beating faster, and the reason why I did the walk was to slow my heart rate. So it's like, what do you do? You just, you just get into it. You just feel the fear and do it anyway. So let's, that, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna put my bright orange Tiger Muay Thai towel at the 20 meter line. That is the start line. And we're about to start in about 30 seconds. So let's do it. The multi-stage fitness test will start in five seconds. Ready. Start level one, one. Level one, two. Level one, three. Level one, four. Level one, five. Level one, six. Level one, seven. Start level two, one. Level two, two. Level two, three. Level two, four. Level two, five. Level two, six. Level two, seven. Level two, eight. Start level three, one. Level three, two. Level three, three. Level three, four. Level three, five. Level three, six. Level three, seven. Level three, eight. Start level four, one. Level four, two. Level four, three. Level four, four. Level four, five. Level four, five.
level 4, 6. Level 4, 7. Level 4, 8. Level 4, 9. Start level 5, 1. Level 5, 2. Level 5, 3. Level 5, 4. Level 5, 5. Level 5, 6. Level 5, 7. Level 5, 8. Level 5, 9. Start level six, one. Level six, two. Level six, three. Level six, four. Level six, five. Level six, six. Level six, seven. Level six, eight. Level six, nine. Level six, ten. Start level seven, one. Level seven, two. Level seven, three. Level seven, four. Level seven, five. Level seven, six. Level seven, seven. Level seven, eight. Level seven, nine. Level seven, ten. Start level eight, one. Level eight, two. Level eight, three. Level eight, four. Level eight, five. Level eight, six. Level eight, seven. Level eight, eight. Level eight, nine. Level eight, ten. Level 8, 11. Start level 9, 1. Level 9, 2. Level 9, 3.
level nine four. Level nine five. Level nine six. Level nine seven. Level nine eight. Level nine nine. Level nine ten. Level nine eleven. Start level ten one. Level ten two. Level ten. Three. <coughs> Hold. <coughs> Whoa. 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 Holy shit. See? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But that level 10 just gets me. Oh, holy shit, oh my god, oh my god guys. Bro, I said to myself, halfway through level nine, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going until I throw up. And we got to 10.4. I'm gonna call it a PB. It's not the PB I wanted, but it's a fucking PB.